Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Sa nakaraang video, i-diniscuss ko ang characterizing and describing the roots of quadratic equations. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung learning task number 1 hanggang number 4, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas para mapanood ninyo yon, Okay? So, ngayon naman, dito sa ating learning task number 4, solve the problem by applying the sum and product of roots of quadratic equations. The perimeter of a rectangular metal plate is 36 decimeter and its area is 80 decimeter. Find its dimensions. So, ang formula ng perimeter ay 2 length plus 2 width. At ang formula naman ng area is length times width. So, paano nga ba natin insasagutan to? Kung mapapansin ninyo, pwede nating i-divide ito by 2. Kasi divisible lahat sa 2. So, i-divide natin both sides by 2. Ang magiging sagot niya is 36 divided by 2 equals 18. And then, makakancel yung 2 matitira is length. Makakancel din yung isang 2, ang matitira is width. Ngayon, ang area is equal to length times width by substitution that is equal to 80 equals length times width. Kung 18 equals length plus width, ibig sabihin, kapag kukunin natin yung length, that is, transpose natin yung W sa kabila, mag-change ng sign, magiging negative W. Okay? So, ang length na natin is 18 minus W. Ngayon, yung 18 minus W, pwede natin i-substitute dito sa formula na 80 equals length times width. And that is, 80 equals 18 minus W times W. Okay? Then, simplify W times 18 is equal to 18w, then w times negative w equals negative w squared. Transpose natin yung negative w squared magiging positive w squared. And then, transpose natin yung positive 18w magiging negative 18w plus 80 equals 0. As you can see, pwede natin itong i-factor para makuha natin yung value ng width. Ano ang factors ni 80 na kapag in ninyo, magiging negative 18? Since negative ito at positive ito, ibig sabihin parehong negative yung ating factors. So, ano ba ang factors niya para maging 80 at kapag in natin, magiging 18? That is 10 at 8. Negative 10 at negative 8. Kasi negative 10 times negative 8 equals positive 80. Negative 10 plus negative 8 equals negative 18. So, ito yung factors natin. W minus 10 and W minus 8. Ngayon, using the zero factor property, equate natin sa 0. So, W minus 10 equals 0. Transpose natin yung negative 10. Mag-change ng sign, magiging positive 10. Next, yung W minus 8 naman equals 0. Transpose natin yung negative 8, magiging positive 8. So, dalawa yung dimensions natin, that is 10 at 8. The shortest length is the value for width, and the longest one is for length. Kasi mas mahaba dapat yung length, diba? Ibig sabihin, ang length natin is 10, ang width naman natin is 8. So, the final answer is... Length is equal to 10 decimeter and width is equal to 8 decimeter. Tapos may follow-up question dito. Relate the measures to the sum and product of a quadratic equation. So, paano ba ulit kunin yung sum niya? I-add lang natin yung roots. So, 10 plus 8 is equal to 18, di ba? So, ito yung sum. And then, ano naman ang product niya? That is equal to 80. So, ano daw ang relationship ng measures sa sum and product nila? 
So, di ba yung product is equal to the area of the rectangle? At yung sum naman ng dimensions ay twice the perimeter of the rectangular plate. Okay? Number two, we have the perimeter of a rectangle is twice the sum of its length and width while its area is the product of its length and width such that perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width and the area is length times width. So, dito sa number 2, kulang yung ating given. Itong statement na to is basically the perimeter and area. Wala siyang tinatanong dyan. Ibig sabihin, this is an incomplete question. Okay? Wala siyang tinatanong. So, yun lamang. Sana nakatulong ito sa inyo. Abangan ninyo yung susunod na video sa weeks 4 and 5. Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please like and comment down below. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!